Imagine yourself in a small boat, adrift in a vast blue desert. The water stretches endlessly in every direction, a boundless expanse of blue that seems to merge with the sky at the horizon. The sun beats down mercilessly, its rays reflecting off the surface of the water, creating a dazzling, almost blinding effect. The heat is relentless, and there's no shade to offer respite. There is no land in sight, just the endless ocean stretching out before you. The horizon is a thin line where the sea meets the sky with no hint of civilization or refuge. No ships cross the horizon. The vastness of the ocean is uninterrupted, a testament to the isolation of this place. You are in a realm where human presence is a rarity. You are completely alone, surrounded by the endless expanse of the Pacific Ocean. The solitude is profound and the silence is broken only by the gentle lapping of the waves against your boat. This is Point Nemo, the most isolated place on Earth. Named after the famous submarine captain from Jules Verne's novels, it is a place of mystery and intrigue. Point Nemo is a geographic location unlike any other. It is a point of extreme remoteness, where the nearest human beings are often astronauts orbiting the Earth in the International Space Station. It is the point in the ocean farthest from any landmass. This remote spot is a testament to the vastness of our planet's oceans and the isolation that can still be found in the modern world. This remote spot lies at 48 degrees, 52.6 minutes south, 123 degrees, 23.6 minutes west. These coordinates mark the heart of the ocean's isolation. It sits within the South Pacific Gyre, a massive rotating current of water that dominates the Southern Pacific Ocean. This gyre is a powerful force, shaping the movement of water and marine life in this part of the world. To reach this desolate point, you would need to travel over 1600 miles from the nearest inhabited land. This journey would take you through some of the most remote and uncharted waters on the planet. This is a journey of several days, even by the fastest ships. The isolation of Point Nemo is such that it remains one of the least visited places on Earth, a true frontier of the ocean. The islands of Ducey Island, Motu Nui, and Maher Island stand as the closest landmasses. These islands are themselves remote and sparsely inhabited, highlighting just how isolated Point Nemo truly is. Point Nemo wasn't always known. For centuries it remained a mystery, hidden in the vastness of the Pacific Ocean, a place so remote that it eluded discovery. It remained hidden in the vastness of the Pacific until 1992. Before then, it was just another uncharted part of the world's largest ocean, a blank spot on the map. Hrvoje Lukatela, a Croatian-Canadian survey engineer, used a computer program to pinpoint this remote location. With the advent of advanced mapping technology, he was able to identify the most isolated point in the ocean. He named it Nemo after Captain Nemo, the enigmatic submarine captain from Jules Verne's classic novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The name was fitting as Captain Nemo himself was a figure of mystery and exploration. This discovery captivated the world. The idea of a place so remote and untouched by human presence fascinated many, sparking curiosity and wonder. It sparked our collective imagination. People began to wonder what secrets this isolated point might hold and what kind of marine life could thrive in such a secluded environment. How could a place be so utterly isolated? The sheer distance from any landmass made Point Nemo a symbol of ultimate seclusion. What mysteries might lie hidden beneath the waves in this remote corner of our planet? The depths of the ocean are still largely unexplored, and Point Nemo represents one of the last frontiers of marine discovery. Interestingly, Point Nemo's isolation extends beyond our planet. Its remoteness is so extreme that it is often closer to the International Space Station than to any human on Earth. It is so far from any landmass that the closest humans are often astronauts aboard the International Space Station. This fact highlights just how isolated Point Nemo truly is. The ISS orbits approximately 250 miles above Earth, while the nearest inhabited landmass to Point Nemo is over 1,600 miles away. This incredible distance underscores the profound isolation of Point Nemo, making it a unique and intriguing location on our planet. Point Nemo's extreme isolation has earned it the nickname, the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility. This moniker signifies its unique status as the point on Earth farthest from any terrestrial life, human activity, or even shipping lanes. This remoteness has significant consequences for the marine life inhabiting this region. The powerful currents of the South Pacific Gyre prevent nutrient-rich water from reaching Point Nemo. 
This creates an oceanic desert with very low levels of primary productivity. Section 4 Spacecraft Cemetery Point Nemo's isolation has made it an ideal location for a rather unusual purpose, a spacecraft cemetery. This remote spot, located in the South Pacific Ocean, is the farthest point from any landmass, making it the perfect place to dispose of decommissioned spacecraft. When satellites, spacecraft, and other man-made objects reach the end of their operational lives, they need to be brought back to Earth safely. The process of deorbiting involves carefully guiding these objects back into the Earth's atmosphere, where they will burn up or fall into a designated area. Crashing into populated areas is not an option. The potential for damage and loss of life is too great, so space agencies must find a safer alternative. Instead, space agencies often choose to deorbit these objects over Point Nemo. This ensures that any debris from these controlled re-entries will fall harmlessly into the ocean, far away from human habitation. This remote location ensures that any debris from these controlled re-entries will fall harmlessly into the ocean, minimizing the risk to human life and property. The vast expanse of water provides a safe landing zone for the remnants of these space missions. Over the years, hundreds of spacecraft have met their watery graves in this remote region. From small satellites to large space stations, Point Nemo has become the final resting place for many technological marvels. This includes everything from small satellites which are often used for communication and scientific research, to large sections of the Russian space station Mir, which was decommissioned and brought down in a controlled re-entry in 2001. The remains of these technological marvels now rest on the ocean floor, thousands of meters below the surface. This underwater graveyard serves as a testament to humanity's ventures into space and the ongoing need to manage the byproducts of our technological advancements. Section 5. The Bloop The mysteries of Point Nemo extend beyond its isolation and status as a spacecraft cemetery. The deep ocean surrounding this remote location has also been the source of strange and unexplained sounds. One such sound captured by hydrophones in 1997 became known as the bloop. This ultra-low-frequency, high-amplitude sound originated from a region near Point Nemo. It was unlike anything scientists had ever heard before. Speculation about its origin ran wild. Some theorized that the bloop was the sound of a gigantic, undiscovered sea creature. Others suggested it might be the result of ice shelf movements or underwater volcanic activity, while the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, later attributed the bloop to the sound of ice shelf cracking, the mystery surrounding this eerie sound continues to fascinate. Section 6. Life Finds a Way Despite its harsh conditions and limited nutrients, Point Nemo is not entirely devoid of life. In fact, several unique and resilient species call this seemingly inhospitable region home. Scientists believe that these creatures have adapted to survive in this extreme environment. They have developed unique strategies for finding food and reproducing. Among the creatures that have been observed in the vicinity of Point Nemo are deep-sea bacteria, jellyfish, and crustaceans. These organisms have adapted to survive in the cold, dark, and high-pressure environment of the deep ocean. One of the most intriguing inhabitants of the deep sea is the anglerfish. This bizarre-looking fish uses a bioluminescent lure to attract prey in the pitch-black depths. Section 7, Point Nemo and Beyond. Point Nemo stands as a testament to the vastness and mystery of our planet. It is a place where the boundaries of human exploration blur with the unknown depths of the ocean. Its remoteness, its role as a spacecraft cemetery, and the strange sounds emanating from its depths all contribute to its aura of mystery. While Point Nemo may be the most isolated point on Earth, it is also a reminder that our planet is interconnected. What happens in one part of the ocean can have ripple effects that are felt across the globe. Point Nemo challenges us to imagine what else might lie hidden in the unexplored corners of our planet. It reminds us that there is still so much to discover, both on Earth and beyond. 